Hey guys, it's DSU, and if you're new here, I'm known as the Mirage Movement Guy. In this video, I'm going to be going over Mirage's hidden movement potential, and overall how underrated his kit can really be. Mirage has always kind of been a sleeper pick and has an insane skill ceiling for chances to win fights that other legends can't. This video will be split into different chapters going over his kit and different movement techs with examples shown afterwards. I'll try to go into depth and go over everything I do with Mirage, but yeah, without further introduction, let's get into the guide. <laughs> To start off, we'll go over the basic Mirage playstyle. Now like I said, there are chapters down below so you can skip ahead to exactly what parts you want. But first things first, we're going to go over kind of the Mirage kit, his passives, his tacticals, and everything. Now the Mirage playstyle. He's kind of not a one shoe fits all kind of legend. You can play him how you want to play and that's something unique about him. You can play him super aggressive, but you can also play passive and support your teammates. He can be selfish or helpful and that's what I love about this character. You can just kind of suit him and how you want to play him. Now the best way to play him in my opinion is super aggressively because of his ultimate. It makes winning 1v1s and everything just amazing. Amazing. Firstly, I'd like to go over his wall hack ability when they shoot his decoy. Now, this is a game changer. If you play very smart and position yourself properly, they'll shoot your decoys and you get that little notification above their head and you know exactly where they are. And let me show you some, some examples of why this is so strong. Now, leading up to this fight, I closed the gap with my Mirage ult and absolutely destroyed the Maggie with relative ease. Girthy Jesus down. Now, if you pay attention to the left side, you'll see his two teammates shoot my decoys, so I know exactly where they are when I engage. So I get to pre-fire the horizon and just destroy him. And I know where the octane is too, because he also shot my decoy, so I can just run in, pre-fire him without him expecting it. Another example is a 1v3 situation I'm in, where I destroy the catalyst, but there's two more, and you can see my HP at the bottom, I'm low, so I mirage ult, and I play the corner. You can see the bloodhound keeps shooting my decoys, so I can keep jiggle peeking and pre-firing, because I know exactly where he is. And his teammate comes in for the third, and he shoots me. And obviously, this didn't really do much, but with all the visual clutter in the mirages, we put him in the dirt. So whenever an enemy shoots a decoy, they get the marker above their head, and you can outposition them, and you basically have free wall hacks on them. It's amazing. Now next up, we got the Mirage Tactical Ability. Now this has always kind of been considered Mirage's weakest part of the kit. His Mirage ult kind of carries him, but honestly, it's still underrated. And ever since they introduced perks, there's some really good perks, which we'll go over in a moment, that make his tactical a lot better than it is. Now the best way to use Mirage's tactical is around corners and around areas where they can't see you. You can also use his tactical to create footstep audio, which a lot of people don't really think about. They just use him as the decoy. But don't forget, this game has a lot of audio clutter. If you throw out a decoy around a corner, plus you're walking around next to it too, they'll hear the decoy panic and shoot it. But let's show you some examples of why his tactical isn't as bad as people say. And the best way to use it, in my opinion. By far the best time to use the Mirage tactical is around corners when you're pre-firing someone. Because they'll shoot anything that moves. They're panicking, they're 1 HP, and they'll get bamboozled. Now I heard a Pathfinder on a corner, so I throw out my Q, and you can see his first shot goes to my decoy. And because of that, I'm able to win the fight, because I was able to get the first shot off. And sometimes you'll throw out a decoy, and, well, this can happen. Now my absolute favorite time to use the Mirage Tactical oh, oh is when you're Mirage ulting. We have the enemy POV for this one, so I can show you just how crazy it is and why a lot of times you want to save your Tactical for when you have your ultimate. Now we'll go over the ultimate ability next, but real quick, oh let me just show you this. Asshole. Now you can see in this clip I come down from the high heavens like an absolute psychopath, and you'll see when I Mirage ult, I go invisible for the split sec, but do you see when I throw my decoy, it walks in a straight line, and because I'm invisible for that second, the only thing the enemy can see is the tactical you throw out. A mistake a lot of newer Mirage players make is they Mirage ult and just walk in a straight line, so they'll shoot the initial thing running at them. But if you Mirage ult and jump to the side and throw out a tactical right in front of you, the, because of your invisibility, the first two seconds, the only thing they will see is your decoy. So make sure whenever you ult, if you get the chance, try to have your tactical with it at the same time. Ah, the Mirage ult. My favorite part of the Mirage kit. If you ever watch any of my streams or my videos, you'll see I use this thing in every fight, every chance I get. Because of the new perks, which we'll go over in a moment, you get this ult all the time. And you can see, it's just hectic, you cause so much visual clutter, footstep audio, the enemy never knows what's going on. It wins you so many fights, it's so clutch, and it's oh the God. best thing about Mirage's kit. So let me give you a few things on when to use it and why it's so strong. Now something a lot of people actually don't know about Mirage when they're new, is when you Mirage ult, the initial 2 seconds you get a speed boost plus invisibility. So using it to turn corners and close gaps is actually insane. Let's talk about the basics first, closing the gap and getting behind your enemy. Speed boost, invisibility. If there's ever a team camping, you can get in behind them and just look, they had no idea where I was. It's so strong and it just brings me so much joy. Here's another example of me being able to close the gap and just getting a really quick 1v3. Now I hear the grenade on the door so I wait for it to blow up and then I mirage ult and you can see how quickly I get in there because of the speed boost and I'm able to stop the guy rezzing. And there's so much footstep audio that this guy has no idea what's going on. Here's a couple more examples showing you the simplicity of just closing the gap and sometimes you don't need to be fancy before we get into the more advanced extra stuff. 
in there. I've got infinite ammo. Shout out, ballistic. Wait, that was sick. You fucking cravered my decoy, you monster. Not too long ago, they introduced perks to the game, and perks have honestly reinvented Mirage as a legend. He has some of the better perks compared to the other legends, and let me tell you which ones I grab and why. Now for the first perk, you have the choice between Miracle Worker or Mormi. I pick Mormi almost every single time. I understand if you like playing for the reses or if you want to be a team player, but having an ultimate ability every 30 seconds is absurd. Let me show you a few examples of why it's so strong. Now you'll see at the start of that fight, we got third partied by who knows where that guy came from. So I ran away and I used my ult to do so. Oh we were getting third partied in so many situations. And if you look at my ultimate charge at the bottom there, it's already at 50% because of how strong more me is. Now after I healed up, I was ready to engage and you'll see my ultimate is ready in 30 seconds. So I use it and look how strong this is. There's so much visual clutter going on, they have no idea where I am, they're panicking, the movement involved, the fatigue bounces, all of that. And because of the footstep audio, they can't hear me climb up behind them because of how much audio the decoys make, so I'm able to just shoot them in the back and get a free W. Another example of Mormi being insanely strong, look at my ult at the bottom, but you'll see I have my perk ready. I grab it, and then my ult is ready, because it resets the cooldown to 30 seconds, even when you don't have the ultimate yet. Now for the second perk, you have Me Too or Bamboozle Bonus. Now almost every time, I choose Bamboozle Bonus, and let me show you why. It's just hilarious for trolling the enemy. But also, there's some serious reasons. Like if you Mirage ult and they shoot your decoy, it keeps you fresh, and so you can just keep standing out. Yada yada. Let's show you the funny stuff. Now you'll see this Rampart is pinning me down with the Sheila. You know, they whip it out, but I've got infinite decoys. They can keep shooting as much as they want. I mean, just look at this. It's hilarious. <laughs> and here we're in an intense fight for the win it's last squad i get the knock and i'm in a 1v1 situation but i've got my ult in hand and i've got my tacticals ready and i've got an eva 8 so i ult to close the gap as we all as i explained earlier and you'll see i'm scared but i keep throwing out decoys and this guy he just keeps shooting him he keeps shooting him he's not ready he doesn't know if it's the real one i'm controlling the decoys he's confused and because he keeps doing that he's gonna keep expecting it because i did three times and i super glide on him and he wasn't ready he wasn't ready for me to be the real one and we get the free w and that's why i love it it's just the it's troll real, potential bro. man it's so good right, we went over a lot of the basics but don't fret we're not done in-depth guide we're gonna go over everything that i can think of but let's get into the good stuff the more advanced mirage abilities and what i love doing in fights that helps me win fights just by using movement First things first, and it's a staple of Mirage movement, it's a little basic, but still a little advanced to some people, the Mirage wall bounce. A big mistake I see a lot of players make when they're just doing a basic Mirage plus wall bounce is they'll bounce first, then Mirage and it doesn't have the fluidity, you don't get any momentum, and it's just not that good. How to do it and how to time it exactly, it's quite easy. Basically, you slide into a wall, but while you're sliding, that is when you hit your ultimate. Right as you start your slide, you press your ult, bounce into the wall, and it's a basic wall bounce. Hopefully, you guys know how to do a wall bounce. Here's a few examples of me combining wall bounce plus mirage to show you how effective it can really be in fights, and it's a game changer. The invisibility plus the speed boost combination, it's unstoppable. Oh. Oh god. I'm dead. Oh, she had the droid. Whoa! I'm dead, bro. Oh, you got shit on so Oh, shit. Oh, my. Get her a map immediately. Holy bamboozle. Oh, bro, I had no Obviously, idea. There's a lot of different wall bounces in this game, a lot of different techs. But let's go over my favorite one that I use a lot that gets me out, a lot of, out of a lot of sticky situations. The fatigue bounce. Now, if you don't know what a fatigue bounce is, it's basically when you have no momentum, you're fatigued basically from jumping, and you can bounce up on a wall. And how to do it exactly, because I know a lot of people aren't as familiar with this one, you go next to a wall, and then you jump, and then as you're going into the wall, you hold the directional input into the wall, and you can hold outwards which direction you want to go. So I hold A to go in, and then I hold D to go to the right. Or you can use it to go up and climb gaps like so, or get over walls. As you can see, there's a, a big boy wall here. But I will fatigue bounce on it, and I'll get up on the wall like that. It's nice. I love it. 
Now, how to use it with Mirage Ult, you might ask? It's the same thing. You don't press it while you're doing it. It's sloppy, looks awful. You press it as you're jumping and about to jump into the wall, like so. And you'll see I fatigue bounce up and mirages go everywhere. Let me show you a few examples of me using this in fights. Now let me show you one of my favorite all-time examples of showing you how strong Mirage is in situations. I'm getting pushed by the literal Avengers here, so I hit the Fatigue Bounce plus Mirage ult, and they have no idea which one I am, and I'm able to get out of there, reposition, shooting all my decoys, they're lost, I got the wall hacks, and I just get the freest 1v3 wipe on them ever. Now the clip's not over here. As you can see, we get third party back against the wall, but again, I pop Mirage ult, they shoot my decoys, I've got wall hacks on them through the smoke, I bounce over their head with all the invisibility, all the craziness going on, and we're able to just cook them and get the freest wipe ever on the third party. And that's just how strong Mirage ult really is. Hold on, let's, let's finish this Bangalore real quick. Oh god, don't throw, don't throw, okay, we got her, we got her. Yes, sir. Next up, another staple, and a lot of people's favorites that anyone can do, controller, MNK, it's beautiful. The Mirage ult, super glide. Now, as we went over earlier, you get a speed boost when you're mirage ulting. So if you combine that with the speed boost from a super glide, you will go zooming. Now, there's all sorts of different types of super glides. You've got forward super glides, sideways super glides. You can wall bounce into a super glide. It's amazing. Now, what happens when you combine that with a mirage ult? <coughs> as you can see, I don't make that gap with a regular super glide. But if I combine it with a mirage ult glide... I make it! And that is the beauty of Mirage Ult Glide. There's a lot more you can do with Mirage Ult plus Glide than you think. It's not just a straightforward glide. You can do it while throwing your tackle out at the same time, and you can see how many decoys go sporadically. Now, if you use this in a fight to get over your enemy's head, it will look insane. On the timing of the Mirage Glide, you don't start the glide, then Mirage Ult. That's a mistake a lot of players make. You have to glide as you're about to climb in, or mantle into the defense, like so. As you can see, I'll Mirage Ult, then mantle, then glide. That is the timing of it. Now, let's get into those examples. That was hot! Hi. Dude, he just headshot the shit out of me. Oh my shit on. On, mate. Next up, and a fun one, which I didn't learn for a while because I always put off mantle jumping, but it's not too hard. If you guys want to learn how to mantle jump, I won't go over that in this video because it's a mirage guide, but there's a lot of videos out there to mantle jump. Then you can come back here and combine it with the mirage ult. Now, it's not only mirage ult you can do it with, but the beauty of it, as you can see, I'll go up, I'll be invisible while I'm in the air. It's insane. It's not only mirage ult you can do this, you can also throw out your tactical wall mantle jumping. And it can be pretty confusing for the enemy. So the timing for it, as it, uh, most of them have always been, it's before you initiate, not as you're doing it. A mistake a lot of people will make is they'll mir mantle and then mirage ult. And you'll see it'll be awkward, you'll lose your momentum in the air, and they'll kind of be able to tell who you are. The timing for it, as always, is use your ultimate and then hop into the mantle jump. Like so, right as I'm about to connect, I mirage ult, mantle, and you'll see I'm invisible while I'm in the air, decoy spread out, it's amazing. Here's an example of the invisibility you get from mirage ult saving me while doing a mantle jump. Oh, the ball. I can't see. Oh my god, slam. Those guys got destroyed. Now, it's not always about mantle jumping. Sometimes it's nice to just have your Mirage ult while you're spamming zip lines. Alright, let's get into the funny thing of Mirage. A lot of a reason why a lot of people probably play Mirage. The bamboozleage. Becoming the decoy. Sometimes your back's against the wall, you don't know what to do, so you become the decoy, and well, stuff like this can happen. <laughs> now it's tough to really give like advice on like how to be a decoy It's as simple as standing still, but you can be smart about it If you mirage ult, don't kind of walk into them Try to back up, make sure you walk backwards, don't walk in a straight line So they can't really tell which one you are and don't look at them And then you can catch them off guard like that <laughs>
And sometimes you'll be preoccupied with something else, and then, well, good thing you're playing Mirage. Clips? Should I play a game with these on? I can't- Oh, I hear someone. Am I dead? Oh, there's someone right next to me. I can't see anything. Oh, I should probably take these off. I'm a decoy, look. Oh, shit! Come here! What the fuck? <laughs> So yeah, becoming the decoy is quite fun, but what else can you do with Mirage? Well, I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you ult and then use an emote, every single one of your decoys will copy you. Watch this. Shit. <laughs> so what are you doing? And another beautiful part about Mirages is when you're finishing, two of you appear. So one of them is a decoy, the other is you, and sometimes still shoot the decoy while you're doing a finisher and then you get to bamboozle him like this all right hurry up <laughs> where am i <laughs> now one final tip i have i don't have a lot of exa good examples of this because i don't really clip when i just fight like a random mirage but it's how to tell which one's the real mirage or how to just kind of fight mirages so you kind of understand what to do here now, I'm going to replay this in slow motion so you guys can see. This Mirage ulted, and I actually couldn't see him. The only thing you can see are the little tactical things on his arm. Now, the biggest advice is when you Mirage ult, don't shoot right away. He had the advantage on me, but because he shot, I was able to tell exactly which one he was. And another really niche, stupid tip that doesn't work always, and you have to be really locked in and paying attention. When you're fighting a Mirage, obviously the best time to tell which one he is is the initial second when he ults because you can see the lights on his arm or if it's a bad mirage and he walks in a straight line but if you look at the mirage's feet particles i know this is insane hear me out only the real mirage leaves particles when he's running so if you're fighting a mirage and you're able to look at his little his little tootsies for a second you'll be able to tell which one he is if you see the feet particles and you shoot that guy it, it works i've done it before i wish i had clips to show you but yeah <laughs> And hey, real quick before we end the video, I have a Discord, if you guys didn't know this. Uh, the link is in the description down below. If you have questions for me, I'm super active in there. I'll reply to most of you as long as you're not weird. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, it would mean so much if you leave a like, comment, and just tell me what you thought. You know, a, a sub, all this stuff, whatever. I put a lot of effort into this video, and I know a lot of people have been waiting on it. And uh, if you want to watch me live, check out my Twitch. I'm live almost every single day. But as always, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have made me really happy. Um, been kind of living like a dream here, you know, it's, it's, it's wild. I'm sorry to just get like all emotional on you all of a sudden, but it's a really cool feeling and I, I appreciate every single one of you that supports me and I'm going to try to just keep it going. Even though I'm hitting a lot of my goals, you can't stop when you reach the, uh, when you reach your goals. You gotta, it makes you want to push harder, right? But hey, if you guys like the video, I love you guys. Um, if you are hearing this, if you made it this far, comment down below, uh, Mirage Enjoyer 57. I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Peace. You're the Mirage movement guy, right?